Welcome to my channel, this is Serge, bringing you another action figure collector's review on McFarlane Toys, My Hero Academia's Shota Azawa. And as voted by you, the fans, I am reviewing this figure. I had a little poll set up on my channel asking whether I should review this figure or put him in a skit or the Green Zio Ranger review or put him in a skit and you chose this figure for review. So thank you to everybody who voted in on this figure. Anyway, that's enough of that. Well, you got a couple extra accessories right here. You get a nice product image of Shoto Ozawa or a racer head. Over here on this side of the box, you get Mick Farland toys up there at the top, Funimation down there at the bottom, My Hero Academia right in the middle of all that. Over here on this side of the box, you get McFarlane Toys up there at the top, Shota Azawa down there at the bottom, and you get a nice little product image of Shota Azawa. Over here on the back of the box, you get My Hero Academia, another nice product shot of Shoto. You, I keep saying Shoto, Shota. Anyway, you get 22 part, moving parts of articulation. You get a 7-inch action figure right there. You get McFarlane Toys up there at the top, and you get a to peep into the figure like a peeping Tom would you get Funimation up there and down here nothing but the barcode so let's get to it and open this bad boy up okay let's take a good look at his accessories and first of all go ahead and take a look at this My Hero Academia stand that McFarlane Toys is known for and I do like it the only complaint I have is whenever I was getting this out of the box with my knife I kind of nicked it up there at the top but it's not too much of a complaint it's just a little nick I just wish there was an easier way to get these things out. Right here we'll go ahead and look at a scarf and this one comes on the figure itself and it's very good. I wish we would have got to see some like cell shading or something like that to give it that anime feel but I'm okay with what we got. Over here we'll go ahead and take a look at this head sculpt that came on the figure itself and it expresses Mr. Azawa or Eraser Head very good I like it it's just kind of like his laid-back look kind of boring and bland which that character is really known for but I like the scar that you see up on underneath his eye right here I think that looks very good from wherever he was in that battle in the UA protecting the students I think that looks very good I just wish they would have colored that in made it a little bit darker and maybe had a little bit more red around his eyes. I mean, you do see a little bit, but it's just not a whole lot because this figure is known for his quirk. And that is where he stares at his opponent and it kind of removes his quirk, given his name, hero name, Eraserhead. But all in all, for the most part, I do like this a lot. Over here, we'll go ahead and take a look at this little scarf that he has. And I like it. I think it looks very good. But, you know, I would have liked to see, like, us have some accessories for the scarf, like little ports in here in the back that could go into his hands like he throws it out. Because this really is like a sharp material or something like that. And in the anime, you get to see a lot of, he battles a lot with this. And he cuts people's weapons and stuff with it and ties people up. That's really cool if you don't know the show. I highly suggest going out and watching it. Anyway, that's enough of that. And right here, we'll go ahead and look at this last eraser head head sculpt. And I like it a lot. I like how the hair walks kind of off to the side like if he's jumping down. I do like that a lot. But I also would have liked to see some like neutral poses with this or something like that. That would have been cool. And maybe some black colored in here in between the lines. But for the most part, I think it looks very good for what it is. And I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with what we got. And here he is, Professor as always all out of the box and getting ready to erase quartz onto your screen. Now this figure is a very interesting take to the character of Eraserhead, and we're getting ready to figure out if this figure is really worth the purchase in just a second. Okay, well, let's run through that articulation.
we'll take a good look at his sculpt in detail. And we already talked about his face, but we'll go ahead and touch on his hair. I like how it drapes over his shoulders onto his scarf. I think that looks good. I think it looks good how it goes down there in the back. It looks very nice. I do like that a lot. You do get the seam going up through his, uh, straight through his shirt. And I like that a lot as well. The wrinkling in the arms looks very good. The hands look good. I wish we would have got more hands for accessories, but that's just a little minor nitpick. The belt, the paint looks very good. The sculpt work looks nice on it. And if you like a racer's head butt with the seam going down it, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up because I just showed you a racer head's butt. Anyway, his back looks nice. I mean, it's pretty much a bland figure. Like, you could make this into a really good ninja or something like that if you wanted to. Like, army build it for battling with your 7-inch McFarlane action figures. Let's say Batman or somebody like that. I think that would be really cool. And his pants look nice and wrinkled. And his boots look good. Anyway, that was a good look at Mr. Ozawa's sculpt in detail. And here's how Eraserhead scales up against a couple of League of Villains. Over there on his right, we have Tomero Shigaraki. I already did a review on him. If you want to go check it out, you can. Over there on his left, we have All for One. I already did a review on him here recently. I highly recommend you going out and checking that review out. Anyway, I think this scale is pretty decent for these three figures. I feel like Tomero might be a little bit taller than what I would want Eraserhead. I feel like Eraserhead should be taller because Tomer is still a grown teenager. I don't know, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. And here's how Eraserhead scales up against a couple of All Mights. Over there on his left, we have McFarlane's All Might, and over there on his right, we have the Anime Heroes Bandai's All Might. Here's my final thoughts on this figure. I think it's a really good take for Mr. Aizawa. I think it's a really good action figure. Now. With that being said, I would have liked to see some more interchangeable hands and maybe like a few extra paint details on the goggles on the other head sculpt. And for the other scarf sculpt, I would have liked to see some bendy wire in there. That way we could have posed our scarf around a little bit more better. That way, you know, it could have looked better in certain poses and stuff because it is a little tricky to get to where it'll stay still in your hand. But let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of the review in the comments below. And as always, fill the air to collect with Surge. I wish you could erase this review from my head. I saw nothing.